The overall goal of this procedure is to extract LPS from gram-negative bacteria. This is accomplished by first growing a 5 ml overnight culture of bacteria in appropriate medium and adjusting the culture to an optical density at 600 nanometers of 0.5. Next, the bacteria is pelleted by microcentrifugation and the cells are resuspended in a TRIS buffer containing SDS and beta mercaptoethanol. Then the cell lysates are boiled and treated with protease and nuclease. Finally, two sequential extractions are carried out with hot aqueous phenol and diethyl ether. Carefully remove and retain the aqueous blue layer. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show amount, as well as the presence or absence of LPS in strains of bacteria, as well as O antigen chain length modality through separation by SDS page and Western blot analyses with LPS specific antibodies, or direct staining of the polysaccharides in the gel. The advantage of this technique compared to the protease treatment of Hitchcock and Brown is that this technique leads to pure LPS samples that can be better resolved by SDS page and Western blotting. This method can provide insight into the synthesis and regulation of lipopolysaccharide in vir into virtually any gram-negative bacteria, including E. coli and salmonella, as well as biodefense and emerging pathogens such as Francisella and Acinetobacter, respectively. To grow bacteria for LPS extraction, set up an overnight culture of gram-negative bacteria in 5 milliliters of LB, supplemented with antibiotics if necessary. Grow the culture overnight in a shaking incubator at 200 RPM and 37 degrees Celsius. Use LB to dilute the culture.